right, so fantasizing about celebrities maybe while you're getting intimate with your significant other might fly. Would it fly? No, not while. You, if you are being intimate with your significant other, you're actively engaging in an intimate act. You should not be thinking of another person, <clears throat> celebrity or non-celebrity related. Now, if you are by yourself and doing some things by yourself or just had like a little daydream, that's a different story. But I feel like if, if my husband is actively <laughs> engaging in some kind of activity with me, <laughs> you best be thinking of me. That's a fact. <laughs> I'm just thinking about this not being over quickly. That's all I'm thinking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the only thought on my mind. <laughs> and I'm focusing on what's in front of me here. Uh, but this virtual listener is wondering if she has really gone over the line here because she's not just fantasizing about celebrities. Bird show. I am feeling terribly guilty and must know if any Bird Show fam does this. I know that it's healthy from time to time to fantasize about having sex with other people. Is it? All right. I mean, that is healthy, right? I, All right, I wouldn't let's use the word healthy for some the, reason. Let's debate this one first here. All right, Cass, you want to get in on this? Is it healthy to fantasize about having sex with other people? While you're with your partner? Well, let's take it from a couple of different angles. Let's say when you're not with your partner. Um, when you're not, I think it's okay. But for me, like the line would be drawn at whether or not you know the person. You know what I mean? Like if it's someone you know in your daily life that feels like a violation, I'd feel mm -hmm. betrayed. But if it's like some random celeb, then what? I don't care. But when you're with me, it's me mm -hmm. and me only. Right. I still wouldn't want to know. Like if Tiff's taking care of herself and she's thinking of Jason Momoa, she could just keep that to herself. Yeah. yeah don't tell me. <laughs> I've, I've never done it. I wouldn't want to know uh -huh. either. Uh -huh. Yeah. I, I do. Yeah. For me, healthy isn't the word that pops to mind. Like I don't think it's odd. I don't think it's like weird that you do that. I don't know if, if I would consider it healthy. But if you're with yourself, you're you're certainly not going to be thinking of your own partner if you're using somebody to fantasize about or you're just getting it done. No, you can fantasize about your own partner. Absolutely. Yeah, why not? Yeah. I, I, for me, it was just a, it's kind of just a job. <laughs> I'm not thinking about anything. I'm just. You're just thinking about the Padres? It's just a real, no, like. <laughs> no, <man. laughs> that would not make any part of me excited right now. <laughs> but no, if you're by yourself, to me, it's like, I'm not fantasizing. I don't need to fantasize about anybody, anything. It's just like, a, it's a job. Well, women are very like a lot more yeah. mentally stimulated than men are. Mm -hmm. So sometimes it takes women a lot of mental energy to get in the mood or get those things flowing. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> Is that healthy? <laughs> As I'm writing this, I'm now freaking out. Anyway, any fantasies I've had in the past have been fleeting thoughts about celebrities. Unattainable. I'd never even meet them. However, about six months ago, I got a new boss. He's hot as hell. <laughs> God. He's hot. <laughs> Did you ad lib that? No. no. That's, that's literally what it says. And he's such a great leader. I love his charisma, his sense of being in control. He dresses amazingly and smells fantastic every day. Girl, simmer down. Wow. I would never, ever, ever go out of my marriage for anything. I don't love my boss, but I do find myself thinking about him when I'm, um, you know, with my husband. Is this unhealthy? Mm. And are there <laughs> y'all <are> right? <laughs> and are there women who secretly do this? Please tell me I'm not crazy. Again, I would never pursue anything with this man, but his image from time to time does make me more um enthusiastic. <laughs> I'm very scared to hear the answers. All right, let, let's hear the scary answers. You guys want to get in on this? We can put you on the voice disguise or one eight five five Bird Show from time to time. Have you ever fantasized about somebody else while you're doing it with your current? All right, Donna, sweetheart, put yourself in your husband's shoes. Imagine he just got a new boss at work. She is friggin' hot. Smoke. I mean, stunning. <laughs> Take your breath away when you see her. And on top of that, she's incredibly intelligent. She has the best personality and she smells impeccable. All right. <laughs> she's all these things. And you find out while your husband is making love to you, he's not thinking about you. He's thinking about her. How does that make you feel? Who cares? She's the one getting it. No. No. <laughs> She's not, though. She's not getting it. Fictional boss is getting it. You're just being a prude. I mean, 
Who cares? You can't even say it with a straight face. <laughs> yeah. You can't even say it with a straight face. Wanted, who cares? <laughs> he's in love with. He's in love with her. He's just physically think. I mean, yeah, if mentally. You, if you were in love with the person, you wouldn't have to be thinking about your smoking hot boss. Mm-hmm. Cash. Man, so I don't think it. I don't think it's abnormal. I think a lot of people probably do this. So in that regard, like you're normal. I don't think it's appropriate okay for several reasons one i think it's super disrespectful to your spouse or your Mm -hmm. partner and two i actually think it's really disrespectful to your boss too like i know you'd never share this information but could you imagine finding out a coworker is fantasizing about you while sleeping with their significant other like i just think it, it it's gross in a way that crosses boundaries and i just i would not do it if i were you here is ariel we're gonna call her and she's on the voice disguise and she got a thing for her boss too same type deal hey ariel hi guys um so i used to work at this office and i had a new boss as well but she he was a she and i was really attracted to her and i had a husband i was married at the time and she, um, I felt like a vibe, like, you know, maybe she likes me too, but like one time I participated in some, uh, like I fantasized her about her a lot, a lot, also because I wasn't really out, you know? And um, so at one point she made participate in some light flirting and it got dangerously, it led to something dangerously quick that I immediately had to stop and I felt completely guilty. So my point is, like, yes, it's okay to think someone else is attractive. To fantasize them while you're with someone else romantically, I don't agree with. It's just it's a slippery slope. So just to follow this, Ariel, um, you were with your husband, and at the time you were being physical with him, you were thinking and fantasizing about a female boss, which at that point made you realize that this is who you really are? Yeah, yes. Um, eventually, after years later, I, I called it quits with him, but not for that reason, just mostly other things. But, um, yeah, it's just a slippery slope, no matter what gender. It's just a slippery slope, and I just would not go there. And also, you know, like the other lady said, you know, she found out, let's say this boss didn't find me attractive. She found out, and she was just straight. It would have been, it would have been bad. It would have been bad. I would have lost it I appreciate your honesty. Thank you. Uh, one more call. Uh, Katie, good morning. You are part of the Bird Show. Hi. Good morning, Bersha. How are you? Excellent, Katie. How are you? Good, thanks. Okay, so I don't think it's cool that it's a boss or someone you know because that's a slippery slope. I think that if you um, think about those things while you're intimate with your partner, it could lead to other things, other extracurriculars. However, it's a celebrity. I have no problem with it. I've thought of celebrities... My partner told me that they think of, has told me that they think celebrities like every past relationship has told me just don't tell me who. <laughs> yeah, I don't care who. <laughs> if it's like a skinny like twig and I'm a plus size woman, I don't want to know. I don't want to know the differences between us. Just keep that to yourself. So these please. fantasies are happening during physical or not during physical? Yeah, during solo and with a partner. Okay. I appreciate it. And all right. Okay. I got to take this one. One more. Uh, <laughs> good morning. Good morning, Stacy. You're on the voice disguiser. Hi. Hey, good morning. Good morning. I'm sure you guys are awesome. Thank you. So I've actually had this happen to me. Um, just trying to work through some things with my husband. And there was like a really younger guy in our friend circle um, that I fantasized about. And I think part of the reason why I did that was because it was like really um, taboo. And so um, I wasn't attracted to him, like wanting a relationship or anything like that. But just the idea that I'd be thinking about something kind of so like weird <laughs> or okay. taboo. So you were fantasizing and, about yeah. the younger guy while you were with your husband. Right, and it's somebody that I do know. Like, it wasn't a celebrity. Got it. I, right. I wouldn't want to know all of it. Yeah, don't tell me any of that. I'm cool. None of it. I used to joke like, I don't care who you're thinking about as long as I'm getting it. But that is a lie. That is 100% <laughs> Just to be a clear. lie. <laughs> the Burt Show. So, first, thanks for watching. Second, you like what you just watched? That just scratches the surface. Get the Burt Show on any podcast platform. We're so good.